Hey guys, Jeff at Slayman's Racing. This video is about how to break in your new bike. Uh, it also applies to break in after rebuilding your engine. So, there's a lot of garbage information out there on the internet about break in procedures. Heat cycles, keeping it below a certain RPM, putting around your neighborhood, more heat cycles more bad information so first of all you got to remember that KTM puts every single engine on the dyno and I realize that hardly anybody watching this video has ever experienced a dyno run before but I've done a lot of dyno testing and it is full stress on the motor I mean dynos heavily load the engine that's where they get the numbers on how much torque and horsepower it has so dynos are very hard on engines, and every engine at KTM is dynoed before it goes out the door. So your bike has already been run through the ringer. So to further here, um, I've worked for many factory teams over the years, and I know what they do. And I can, I'm also going to tell you how I've done it successfully over all these years. And that is ride it. So the factory boys, they don't sit there and let them idle for 15 minutes or 5 minutes or anything else to get them all warmed up. They do exactly what I do. They have all their gear on, their goggles on, they start them up, stick them in gear, and go. And then they take it easy for just, you know, 2 or 3 minutes, whatever, until the motor comes up to temperature, and then they start riding them harder. Same procedure I use. I've done it forever and it definitely works. So I'm not suggesting or advising you to do a six gear run down a dirt road full throttle pin because uh, that would be detrimental possibly to the engine. But just use a little common sense and ride it. So after a few minutes of riding, rev it. And I'm not talking about rev it in every single gear on every single shift, but don't be afraid to rev it, and don't be afraid to run it through the gears and rev it hard. Um, the motor has to expand and contract in order to break in correctly. And so what are we trying to do during break in? Let's talk about that for a second. So the cylinder bore is the most uh, focused on part of the break in procedure. Everything else is just bearings. Bearings will break in no matter what you're doing. They'll break in on their own. And you don't have to worry about breaking in main bearings or the rod bearing. That just automatically happens with time. The cylinder bore takes slightly more care uh, because you want to get the rings to seat. So, doing things like heat cycles, putting around your neighborhood, putting around on the trail, keeping it below a certain RPM, some low RPM for a few hours. All those things accomplish nothing. And they're actually very detrimental to the break-in because there's a real good chance that the cylinder is going to glaze and the rings are not going to break in. So what does that mean, cylinder glazing? Well, when you're putting around like that, the engine's not burning the oil, the premix oil, correctly. Um, and it tends, and the, the, the rings are not being pushed out from from the expansion and contraction and, and acceleration. So the rings are not seating properly because there's a glaze right in here. And a glaze looks like varnish. It looks like, like a, a tan to a, a dark brown varnish coating has been put on your cylinder bore. And at that point, the rings are never gonna seat. No matter what you do, you'd have to take the engine back apart and put in new rings and uh, do something to deglaze the cylinder. That's a whole other topic. So this cylinder here is mine off my 2017 300 and it's got about an hour on it of break-in time. Actually I shouldn't say break-in time, ride time because how did I do it? I had all my gear on, my goggles, I got on the bike, started it up, stuck it in gear and took off. And after I was about a half a mile away from the truck, I started romping on it. And then, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, I started revving it. 
And I just rode it like I would normally ride for the most part. Now I don't go sixth gear pin down a dirt road. I don't advise that. That'd be a little uh, detrimental possibly to the braking of the cylinder bore. You know, so just use some common sense. Don't go out and climb every steep hill that you can find. Don't go blasting up a bunch of sand washes uh, deep in deep sand and don't go ripping down the road in sixth gear pin. But as far as trail riding or track riding, just ride it. Have a good time. Um, and the engine will expand and contract. So when you're on the throttle hard, the engine's going to expand. When you back off, it's going to contract. That's exactly what we want. Expansion and contraction is going to make the piston rings seat. And it will help the uh, cylinder bore smooth out to where there's no you know, rough edges or rough spots. You know, and when I say rough spots, those are microscopic. It just smooths everything out. And uh, then you've got a, you'll have a good running motor at that point. If you do the heat cycles and putting around, you're going to have, you could possibly have a mess on your hands. I would highly recommend you don't do that. Get on it, ride it, and enjoy. That's all for now.